Hello, I'm Joe Wren. A judge denied a request today for a restraining order against a Bloomington man who was accused of harassing the owner of a Brown County farm. Sarah Dye told Judge Frank Nardi on Monday that Thomas Westgard is engaged in an ongoing routine effort of harassment against her. Dye is a vendor at the Bloomington Farmers Market. Published reports surfaced in May linking her to white supremacist Nolan Brewer. Brewer was convicted of vandalizing a synagogue in Carmel. A former Democratic state legislator is seeking the central Indiana congressional seat at being given up by Republican Representative Susan Brooks. I'm the only person getting in this race so far that actually has a record. So I have a reputation and a record for being collaborative. Brooks announced last month she wouldn't seek a fifth term. No prominent Republicans have yet announced campaigns. Democrat D. Thornton is also running after unsuccessfully challenging Brooks in 2018. And some Bloomington Commission members are recommending a ban on the sale of cats and dogs, except from a shelter or animal rescue. This is one way to say for sure and for a fact, we as a community don't want animals that come from inhumane conditions or a puppy mill type situation into our community. Delilah's pet shop owner, Karen Kidwell, says the commission's recommendation is unfair to business owners like her. She says she doesn't get animals from puppy mills and provides them with healthy living conditions. Now their recommendation now moves to the mayor for review. Here's a quick check of the forecast before we go. Partly cloudy tonight. Overnight lows falling to 62 degrees in the five-day forecast. More sun and heat. Highs up to 85 on Friday, 90 by Saturday, 91 on Sunday. Mostly sunny on Monday. Highs in the lower 90s. A slight chance of thunderstorms back in the forecast on Tuesday. More at WTIUnews.org.